I bet you all welcome to Levski, the place on the uh, moon of Dalamar, of course. And actually, we landed our ship over there, and that's behind a rock. And we're now watching at the mining facility here on Levski. The only thing I'm pretty worried about is falling off these rocks and being unable to climb back up here, which is going to be a real problem. So we're uh, we're uh, viewing uh, here from the distance just to be sure we are safe. Welcome to a new video of Star Citizen. I thought I introduced myself by saying where we were and it's nice to have you guys back again as always. I have to say my previous video where I did explain a little bit about um, what I thought what was going on with Star Citizen got apparently a lot of people triggered. Uh, also actually to the point of insulting me and other viewers so I would like to please ask you guys not to do that i thought this was a pretty mature and adult community so that's something i always uh, assumed it was but yeah the comments worried me a little bit and of course feel free to correct me on things because i have to say and i agree with some guys that i sh perhaps should have done a lot more research i have an example said that chris roberts had announced 100 star systems and I accidentally said 100 galaxies, but I meant 100 star systems, but apparently he didn't mean them to be uh, I mean at that time they were supposed to be a lot smaller like only landing bases and all so that's why he said 100 star systems well more like 100 landing bases or uh, Stuff like that. So it's not all that straightforward as it is. I also said production started in 2011 or 2012 it apparently did not the crowdfunding was in 2012 and the production started with just a couple of guys in 2013 and uh yeah for that the game um the game you know expanded a lot uh, more than i think the guys from um uh, the, the guys from chris roberts originally thought so i got a lot of input from you guys and uh, for the ones who were like super triggered i'm sorry i mean i thought i searched up every info about it what has been known so far uh, my best, but uh, yeah, it seems um, not uh, not everyone was really pleased with the info. However, what I do really still think is annoying that this game in 2019 is still in alpha, and that's okay. But that mission still don't work. At least I've tried again. I said it also in my last video. I tried it four. To four I tried four different missions, the, all from cargo, uh, depending from cargo missions to like the main personal missions on um, our core planet area 18 and also in Hurston and they all failed at a critical point also I've done I tried to do a mission here on Levski where a guy uh, offered me like drugs to smuggle but I wasn't able to stow the drugs in my inventory and I couldn't place them in the landing bay because my ship disappeared stuff like that these bugs are game breaking so I really really hope when this star citizen game ever comes in beta i really hope they're able to fix all the bugs but anyway i am still very looking forward to squadron 42 which should be released next year i mean alpha and beta are about to be announced next year so great that's wonderful also i want to thank everyone who has been watching my videos uh for for uh yeah for a longer time because as some of you know uh most of my videos uh, take about about star citizen star citizen are taking a lot of time they're uh, sometimes uh you know taking 30 minutes or or an hour or something like that and for that it can be quite long and i want to thank everyone who has been saying these uh small Easter eggish sentences, which I'm saying like I love snails uh, in the, for breakfast in the morning or I love apples and people probably reading the comments are really confused. What the hell are we talking about? But thank you very much for watching my video for a long time in, in um, yeah, for, you know, watching more than half an hour or for more than 45 minutes. That means you guys like to watch this and that's a very, very big compliment for me. So thank you very much for that. So enough talk about the previous videos or uh, yeah, any of that stuff. As I said, we are here at Levski and normally you are entering the base here below somewhere. I think it's over here somewhere. And there you will be able to call your ship and also there are some landing pads. But you know, I flew away and I landed my 300i over there because I thought it would actually be cool to have a look here. I mean, 
around Levski. Uh, what I suggest we're going to do in this video, we're going to visit some more moons because there are a lot of moons here in Star Citizen. And I suggest the places where we are going to visit them are pretty close here from Delamar. We are here, like I said before, on the moon of Delamar. And the system of Crusader has also three moons. And I can remember I've been to Yella once, but I can't really remember. It's 100% sure. Um, but uh, I can remember we've been to a watery ice-ish moon. So um, I've also been a little bit confused because I also thought I visited Daymar, but I'm not 100% sure, sure about that. So I suggest we're just going to fly to the Crusader system and then we'll start by visiting Selen, the moon of Selen. And then, um, yeah, maybe, you know, the two other mo moons, who knows. So I suggest we're going to do that right now. And that means entering our 300i spaceship. And then let's get out of here from this moon of Delamar. So let's see. Are we able to enter our ship without killing ourselves? That would be absolutely wonderful, wouldn't it? And uh, ooh, um, accidentally press right click. But luckily my character survived. So cool. Let's see. Do I need to have a toilet break? Probably not. This, this weird toilet where... You know, when you sit down, you can't close the door. So if there will be people like watching from, uh, you know, from a higher point of view, they would be able to just um, watch you sleep or watch you sit at the toilet. Or maybe, you know, it's an option to have the other side of the windows like blindfolded so people can't watch through it. Anyway, that are first world problems where once you get out of here in the 300i and get to the, um, yeah, to that other system. So let's set flight ready. And we don't need to ask permission since we're not in the landing bay. We can just lift off. Alright, great. So let's see. Is my ship in good condition? It is. Alright, so let's retract landing gear. And wow, look at this. This is like the hole where they're like digging right now for this mining facility. And it looks really, really cool. So Levski is actually a really cool place here. And I think there are a lot of other players uh, about to land or taking off. So, all right, uh, let's set way to um, to our the system of Crusader. And let's see, let's first set course to Selen. So let's set a route there. And let's see if there are any interesting places here. There are actually two things, and that's a, what is this, family farms, okay. Let's, uh, that sounds interesting. Let's check it here first. That means we first need to, like, uh, quantum travel to uh, the gas planet of Crusader. And then we should be able to fast travel to uh, this moon. And then we should be able to fast travel to that point of interest. I think, I think it works like that. So first we want to leave the moon's atmosphere. There's not much atmosphere here at the moon, but there is definitely something. So else we can't quantum travel. So let's lift off and say goodbye to Levski. Because we are leaving. Great. All right. So let's slow down and let's go to our quantum travel point. So Crusader is two million kilometers away, and we can wait for that while we are quantum traveling. Because it's that not not that super far away. All right. Here we go. And when Squadron 42 is about to be released, I will definitely live stream it or create videos about it when there is an alpha or a beta available. So for the ones who don't have a PC which can run it are still able to watch everything uh, they want. And um, yeah, I mean, I am super, super, super excited for Squadron 42, which has a real release date. So for the ones who are not sure, uh, let me explain again. Squadron 42 is the single player game based on the universe we have right now in Star Citizen. And actors like Andy Serkis, Mark Hamill, um, Gary Oldman, those AAA names in Hollywood, uh, in Hollywood, they are all participating in the single player game and they're acting and they're performing actual characters. They're main characters, I think, all of them. So that's really, really cool. Anyway, we are heading for Crusader, which is a very dark planet because the star is probably at the other side of um, Crusader. Looks a little bit weird that it's all uh, it's all pure black. But anyway, that's not where we need to go. We need to go to Selen. So what seems to be the problem here? Oh, it's on cooldown. Okay. Cool. We can just go to Selen now, the moon here. 
I run Crusader. So let's go. Quantum drive activated. Only 44,000 kilometers. That's not a very long distance when you have quantum drive. So we can just actually wait it out. And there is already the moon visible of Selen. Here we are. Alright, and it looks a little bit like our moon, I have to say. The surface that we have at our own moon. And cool, I always love this... Um, third person view because it really shows how large how large the moon is and all of the planets and moons and star cities are pretty large okay so we're also able to fast travel here now and i'm pretty curious where we will find and if we will find any hostile um things so let's check here representing the tradition passed down three generations family farm to okay so i hope there is not like a Defense system, which is which is going to attack us in that case, that would be bad. But. So we quantum travel now. That means we don't have to like fly 20 minutes to manually to this uh, family farms. And now we are only 50 kilometers away. So if no um, gunships are targeting us, that's great. That would be great. Quantum drive. Okay. So. We have our crosshair now aimed on um, these, uh, these family farms. So let's... Ah, crap. That's too bad. So, let's try that again. Here it is. Okay, we're not going to quantum travel, but I just need to lock my, uh, my, my ship to it. So we can, like, fly in a straight line, full speed ahead. Let's see what we will find here. Look at that. The uh, there is the moon of, or the planet of Crusader, I should say, which is about to be a playable planet um, at uh, quarter four of this year. They're uh, they're uh, planning to um, you know create uh, buildings or maybe a city on Hurston uh, uh, Crusader, I mean. So I'm really curious what we will find there. Okay, so now we are heading for the. Um, so let's see if we're able to see it. Okay, here it is. We're <laughs> probably shooting over it by quite a long distance. So, I think it was here. All right, and what we need to do now is take back control over the ship and wait until our speeding has finished. Let's find the... What is it again? The family farms again. So we can now fly again towards family farms. And now we have to be careful that we don't overshoot it. So let, again, let's hope these guys are friendly. Ah, <laughs> I'm just going way too fast. Okay. Third time is a charm then. Let's try that again. Here we are. Okay, let's calm down. Because the problem is it's dark right now, so I can't really see what's going on. Okay, so let's slow down. We are family farms. Cool. We come in peace. We really are. Okay, can we land somewhere here? Since we can, okay, let's just set her down here. Let's decrease speed so we can um, zero the ship and then we should be able to land pretty stable. All right, cool. Let's power off the ship and let's exit it. And now let's see what these family farms are all about on this uh, moon. So what I learned from one of you guys was when you open the door, you can just run out of the ship. Because the last time I used my exit ship ability, I got stuck between the door and the ladder of the ship. So uh, what I just do now right now, usually do is I open the door and then I just run out of my 300 I ship. So cool. I mean, look at this. It's uh, the looking into space here from this moon is really something special. I mean. And so we have these family farms, but just to be sure, I will drop my weapon in case we're going to be attacked. Because you never know what 
people will find here. Maybe should have landed a little bit closer. I mean, from uh, my landing point, it looks pretty, pretty close by, but it definitely is not. I need to run a little bit through this part. So, okay, this is definitely something new we haven't seen so far. We only see mining facilities and research labs. So, cool, okay. So here is where, like, plants are being grown. Nice, looks cool. Reminds me of the movie Sunshine. I'm wondering if any of you guys have ever seen a movie of Sunshine. If you have, please let us know that in the comments because I think Sunshine is, um, is such an underestimated movie. And that's not because not because of the um, yeah how should I say that the end of the movie was pretty weird and something which was not really the strongest point of the movie but the atmosphere you know the um, which were which was in the movie was just really really great I mean you really had the feeling that they were so far away from Earth and they were planning and they were planning of course and the story about Sunshine is that the sun is dying and that uh, mankind needs to drop a neutron bomb inside of the sun to have it like reboot it again so it will start shining again and the movie again has a really great atmosphere and there's also like a place in the ship where they are growing uh, oxygen and they have water and also these plants so that's what what reminded me a little bit of this really cool mo really cool movie check it out and uh, if you guys have seen it let me know that in the comments so Again, this is nice. This is actually something cool to just um, hop along and, um, you know, find randomly here on this moon. So there's definitely something to explore on these moons. Let's see if there's someone here. Maybe I should, like, grab my weapon because you never know what's inside here. Inside for the airlock. Let's see what we have here. Seems abandoned, so that's good. Uh, there's actually, like fast food here <laughs> nice noodles if they're hot if they st would be still hot I would be concerned but it seems not all right cool ah, look at this we have a small kitchen here and like I said oh there's somebody definitely liked noodles here at this place and um, soft drinks as well so let's see is this like a window outside yeah it is cool okay so this is like a fridge and uh, like I said this before they didn't make any of this stuff interactive because else players would probably mess around with all this stuff and things would get plundered and you know being tossed around and all so that's something why I think they would not do that cool I mean I like all these small details here um, also here someone had a little bit too much time on their hands but they also have a computer here so they shouldn't really get bored that much but that would be much of a problem if like your ship broke, you were able to land here, your communication is all out and then you're all of a sudden being stuck here. Let me stow my pistol because I don't think it's going to be a hostile situation here. But anyway, then yeah, you were stuck here on this moon base and uh, man, that would be something, you know, just, um, let's see. So you we'll would be here and then when you're watching outside then yeah, you see the moon base. That's pretty cool, but it's, of course, you're really away from mankind. You're so far away, hundreds, thousands of kilometers away from the nearest R&R. Uh, &R. Or what was it, 40,000 kilometers? That's still a very long way if you have no spaceship or no space suit. So this is actually a shipping and delivery kiosk for missions, maybe. That's cool. And I like all the small details, like I said before, like here, these post-its and all. That's being done very well. I really love the details in this alpha. Cool, cool. So, nice little moon base here. Um, let's see if there's something here. Did we... Okay, look at this. Hmm. So here's where they have all their um, freshly grown uh, vegetables and fruits. Cool, really, really, really looks nice here. Uh, we have some postcards from other planets. All right, nice. And since it's dark here now, we don't see much through the windows. But this looks really, really cool. Really looks like maybe... Um, but it really reminds me of movies like Interstellar and Sunshine. And The Martian, not to forget. Okay, so I think it's time to leave. Let's um, see if there, what the other point of interest was in this, uh, on this moon. 
think that's a mining facility. If it is a mining facility, I think it's time for us to go to the next one. Let's just quickly check that. There's a security post here, but um, I don't trust these things because usually there are like enemy ships on it. So that's why I think it's better not to, uh, to go there. So what do we have here? It's also, okay, I think all of these things are farms. And this is a age shelter, okay. Well, you know, let's check it there. I mean, that's nice. Uh, I think first we have to be in our ship in order to um, in order to set routes. So let's go to our 300i and let's, what's that? I think that's one of the other moons. Which moon should that be? Maybe that's a Daymar or Yella, I don't know. But it looks nice and it definitely is so far away. I mean, well, when you're looking at it, it looks like it's pretty close, but it's definitely not pretty close. All right, cool. So we've seen enough here on this moon, or at least at this spot. And let's get back in our 300 hour ship to check out other outposts. Or at least that other outpost, which was the emergency shelter. And I'm pretty curious how that looks. I think probably a lot like um, a lot of these mining facilities. But, you know, let's just check it out. Because why not? We're still here. So that means we have plenty of time to check that out. All right. Let's enter our pilot seat. Great. Uh, let's go flight ready. And let's... Let's lift off. Okay. Let's increase speed a little bit. And then let's uh, check out our star map. Because, like I said before, we uh, want to go to that abandoned mining post. Or that abandoned shelter. Which is here. So set routes to there. And let's first... Um, Oh, well, that, that looks cool. Crusader uh, over there. So let's make a little bit of altitude so we're better capable of seeing it. Let's uh, retract landing gear. Or the, yeah. Oh, wow, look at this. That looks cool. Look at Crusader there being lit by our uh, central star. Great. So let's see. What's this? This is our crosshair. This is not our... Uh, so we are able to go here to the uh, H shelter. Only 433 kilometers. We would be able to drive there by car. That would take us something like four hours only. But we're able to do this in probably 20 seconds or something. All right, great. So what we want to do now, we don't want to do this again, the same mistake like having our speed um, turn on so high so let's say we fly at only um, 200 meters per second and as you can see here also the star is shining um, on the, this side of the moon so let's check okay so like I said before let's not try to make the same mistake And let's hope, by the way, this um, this emergency shelter is not abandoned, it's not um, habited. So there are like no intruders or people who want to um, hurt us. So let's see, how far away is it still? It's there, it's 40 kilometers. So, okay, we can actually increase speed a little bit. And then when we're about 10 kilometers away, we should uh, should definitely drop the speed so it's like 25 kilometers now let's decrease speed and even now we might just overshoot it by a mile away. there it is all right okay we can actually break a little bit with s that was an accident to shut. 
sorry guys, hopefully they won't return fire. But anyway, it should be here. So let's find it out. So this is an emergency shelter. Okay. Okay, uh, let's uh, deploy landing gear. Okay, let's um, check out what's uh, what's up here. Landing complete. Okay, let's power off and let's um, exit our ship and let's see what's about this emergency shelter. So let's open up the door and now we can freely run out of this. And we don't want to forget to close the door if any nasty human beings or other things are about to enter our 300i ship because that's not what we want. So let's find out what this emergency shelter is. And there we have the central star of our uh, universe, or at least not the universe, our uh, star system here. And as you can see here, you definitely see some high differences in, on this planet. Uh, on a planet, on a moon, I should say. And that looks really cool. It's definitely like a pretty large landscape uh, here on the moon. And that's something which is something that's just nice. It's, you know, it makes the, um, it gives us some diversity on these moons. So you don't have like one flat surface and that's all. Okay, so this is an emergency shelter. That's mean it's like literally this. You can't sleep here. There are two beds. And you can sit here, chill, you know, use first aid if that's needed. And um, okay, yeah, there's that's nothing more than just really a emergency shelter. So, all right, cool. Some food here, I think. Maybe some medicines. Great, nice. Some storage here as well. All right. We've seen enough here, I think, on this moon. It's time to go to another moon. And yeah, let's see what we will find on that moon then. So first, let's enter our ship so we can use the star map to travel around and, you know, set waypoints. Because that's pretty handy when you are in the galaxy and it can be hard to navigate. So, let's see. Uh, since... Everything is so bright. I'm hoping that I select the correct option of entering my ship. And that I've not set open door. Maybe I did and put open door. So let's enter ship. Let's see if this works and it won't kill our character off, hopefully, because of a bug. Nope, it didn't. Great. Isn't that wonderful? So. This is a really nice view from our ship here as well. When we look to the rooftop, we have this nice view of the central sun. And we can just like, you know, sleep here maybe. But yeah, when we could do that here, but we could also just go inside the bunker if we really want to sleep. But we don't want to sleep. We want to explore another moon here at the Crusader system. So let's turn on the ship. And let's see what we will have more on this galaxy or this system of Crusaders. So we have Daymar and we have Yella. Let's see what the, what we can find here for information. Okay, this is the largest of the Crusaders' moon. A slightly eccentric orbit is set to represent as ease as getting lost in the story. Okay, and Yella is... Okay, so this is like a water ice crust. Um... If this is like the largest of the moons, let's see what we have here. So this is also a station. Formerly Prime Shipping Hub for a system. Gunner suffered an unfortunate accident, I have to say. Okay. Nah, I don't trust this as well. I mean, there's probably uh, a trap there. So what do we have more here? This is a public shelter. This is a mining facility, also public shelter. 
Harvest, okay. So this is also like, th I thought that other uh, Harvest Center was pretty cool. So I guess we're going to visit a similar one here now on the other side of the moon. So let's go to flight ready and let's lift off. Great, so let's lift off and uh, exit atmosphere so we can fast travel. So we are leaving this moon goodbye for now. Maybe we see you later at one of the uh, other missions. But for now, we're going to visit another moon. All right, so are we still not able to do this? It's obstructed, okay. So let's uh, fly a little bit further then. Okay, I have to be careful not to lose consciousness because I'm probably um, spinning and rotating too fast. We will fly to this uh, station with quantum speed, of course. Because else it's going to be a little bit too far away, 52,000 kilometers. Don't want that. So, here we go. Quantum speed. Quantum traveling. Okay, <laughs> not sure what happened there. Um, okay, this was actually, I think, the system of uh, Crusader. So now we can quantum travel to Denmark. Don't we have a point there? Okay, after we are quantum travel there, we are able to go to uh, our point of interest. So first, let's go to the moon of Denmark. And then I w wasn't really aware that we were first traveling to um, Crusader planet. That's all right. Here we is. Here we are. Here it is. I mean, wow, well, that's actually a large moon. It's, it's almost like a entire planet. I mean, so here is our bountiful harvest hydroponics. Let's hope they're as friendly as the uh, previous uh, point we were. We should end there at only 50 kilometers away from that point. Quantum Great. Deactivated. So let's set it there. Let's press Z key. And now we can just go forward. We have to be careful not to um, overshoot it again, of course. So let's see how far it is. All right, let's um, lower speed a little bit. Okay, so it's still not in sight, but we have time, you know, we have time for some sightseeing here. And watching the wonderful moon of Crusader. And here we are, hello. <laughs> Look at our facial expressions. So, great. Let's see how far we still have now. We're still in sight, so let's uh, increase speed a little bit. And looks like it's coming closer fast now, so that's a good thing. And I learned that you can actually brake, so we are gonna increase speed. And then when we're reaching that point of interest, we will make sure to brake. Okay, so we should be getting there now. I mean, it was like only 50 kilometers left. 50 kilometers away, as I meant. All right, it's a <laughs> random sentence time. For the ones who are still watching, a new random sentence. And what I suggest this time is that you type in the comments, it's raining cats and dogs outside. And uh, do that in the comment section, please type that in if you're still watching this uh, video. And thank you very much if you do for the support, because that's really, really nice for you guys. Okay, I think we are now reaching the uh, point of interest. So let's turn off the cruise control. Let's see. Poor landing gear. Right. 
Here we are. Okay, great. So it's only like 3,000 meters away. Okay, now we have to be careful. Okay, here it is. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> here it is. It literally is here. Great, so this time I would say we'll land a little bit closer. Alright, let's zero our ship. Alright, great. Let's land this puppy. Okay, cool. Shield system. Power off and let's exit. Because why not? And let's open the door and let's get out of here. Okay, so we have like a similar system here, which are doing the um, growing of plants. Looks really cool. And also here at night, you were able to see the lights which are inside of this capsule uh, thing, which are growing the plants, of course. Really cool. So these are like solar uh, plates, I think, when there is actually um, sunlight or starlight in this case. So I think this is pretty much a same um, base like we've seen on the other moon, but you know, let's just check it out. Let's see if this guy also likes noodles. Yeah, it pretty much looks like it and it pretty much looks like we have a similar system like a copy paste and that's a little bit unfortunate. I mean, it should have adjusted a little bit more maybe. Okay, cool. And let's cycle it off. And I suggest we're going to randomly land somewhere at the last of the three moons in the system of um, the Crusader. And that was, let me check that quickly. So we have Daymar here. That's going to be Yella, right? <laughs> yeah. So let's see. That's then the ice water planet. Yeah, so we only can set a route when we're in the ship, so let's do that right now. So there are actually cool places, especially here with the view on the Crusader. And this is a really freaking huge planet, by the way. And you can see there also. And I'm really curious what they will add to that planet, so when we're able to actually land there. Oh, the door is still open, but hopefully that doesn't get our character killed. And else this is going to be the end of this video. So let's check it out. All right, we're still alive, great. Let's see how the view is. Wow, look at this. From our rooftop, we have a fantastic view of the Crusader planet. So let's go to the last moon. And uh, then uh, let's have a camp. Let's, uh, you know, lay down in our bed here in the 300 eye and watch the wonderful stars. So flight ready. Let's increase speed a little bit and let's lift off. Great, great, great. There is Crusader. So, the last moon, Yella. Let's set her out and let's randomly land there. There's Yella. You're actually able to see it, it looks like. You're like, uh, really see it in a distance, that's really cool. So let's first exit atmosphere. Okay, relax. All right, now we should be able to actually start up a quantum, uh, quantum drive and let's uh, go to Yellow. 100,000 kilometers away, so I think we're able to go directly to Yella and that's stopping first by Crusader. Quantum drive activated. And that's cool because that means from Yella we should be able to see this moon as well. Great, so here's Yella. And I think we've been here once, I can't really remember it 100%, but 
I think we've been here once. So what I suggest we're going to do is let's land somewhere where, where there's ice. Maybe that looks uh, cool. So this is all frozen, uh, right? I mean, then that would mean there's that's all ice here, but... Well, let's see what we will find out. Let's uh, fully set speed to maximum. Let's set a cruise control. And let's just fly here. Wow, look at this. So this is a um, asteroid field around the, around this moon. That looks great. And let's uh, go full speed ahead. And let's see what we'll find out here. It's really, really looking cool. These ice, uh, ice particles there all the way in the distance. So we can zoom out a little bit more even. Great, great. So this is also uh, not as a super large moon as the, uh, pre our previous moon, but you know, it's also still a moon, so quite large. And also it has a little bit of gravity, of course, as well. So that's a nice view here we have from this moon. Especially here uh, with uh, the view on Crusader as well. All right, so we are entering the surface of this moon. And uh, like I also said before, I think they have done a wonderful job with the transitions in between, um, you know, when you're approaching this moon uh, or any planet, you know, the, the lots, the, uh, the billboards, they're virtually like invisible, which I think that's something they've done very well okay so let's see what we will find out here because now we are actually uh, landing here with a pretty high speed so I would say let's maybe turn off cruise control and let's slowly uh, drop with the speed so we're slowing down now and let's see what we will find here on the surface of this one. Craters. Now we see some uh, pop-up, of course, but that's logical because now the details have to be loaded. Okay, so a thousand meters per second is really, really fast. Oh boy, what's happening? We're we crashing. We are. <laughs> so we end the stream with a bang. Okay, no idea what really happened there, um, but that's all right. That was uh, <laughs> the end of this video because we went a little bit too fast. That's all right. Uh, we have seen two moons out of three already. And I think except for the ice, we probably didn't really see much new on the third moon. And uh, yeah, this video is also, uh, uh, it's also taking quite long. So what happened now actually for your information, we spawned back at the moon of um, Delar on the city of Levski. And that means our ship is destroyed now. And um, what the normal procedure is in Star Citizen is that you um, like you, you you have insurance in the first six moons. That's a nice moonwalk, by the way, there. And that means uh, when you have insurance on your ship, you're able to like claim it for free. And that means in this case, it will take uh, seven minutes, 30 seconds. I think depending on how expensive your ship is, the longer you have to wait, because on my starter ship, I only had to wait like five minutes. And um, you know, uh, if you want, you can like expedite it and then you only have to wait one minute, but then you have to pay a quite large fee. But anyway, we're not going to do that. I think it's a nice end for the end of this stream. Hope you guys liked it. Thank you very much for watching as always. And uh, yeah, see you guys at one of my next videos. Take care and bye bye.